and beer. That's all I need in life. Hey, I'm Bridie and I'm travelling in Tohoku, Japan's deep north that only 1% of international visitors get the chance to see. I'll be exploring this region's beautiful geography, its long cultural history and, of course, eating lots of incredible food. trip and I'm in the midst of the Amori Nebata Matsuri, a giant lantern festival that is ancient. It initially started as a way of scaring off enemies from the city and it's now turned into this really great tradition. In order to participate in the festival you have to dress up so I'm currently wearing the local style of Yukata. Everyone is dancing around. It's pretty good. These floats are like so intricate and three-dimensional. My hometown has like a tiny lantern parade and I like freak out about that, but these are remarkable, the level of detail and the colour. Tell me a bit about the festival. Why is it uh, important to you? <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of grilled squid and it's very delicious. It's slightly smoky and I think they're serving it with like cubey mayo. It's perfect. shepherding us away. They're very polite about it though. I've nearly lost my voice from chanting too much at last night's festival. So I'm standing out the front of Hideyoshi Brewery, which is one of the best sake breweries in the world. It's been around for such a long time. It's been in the same family for 19 generations. And I am about to meet with the CEO who is going to give me a tour and I'm going to have some sake. I am so excited. I love sake. Smells amazing. Sake itself originated 2,500 years ago when it was first invented by Japanese monks. Despite the availability of modern technology, Mr. Suzuki still essentially uses the same brewing methods as his ancestors did 19 generations ago. This includes laboriously mixing koji spores into the rice by hand. This is an essential process that breaks the rice starches into sugars so they can ferment and turn into alcohol. The old fashioned way is always the best way. Thank you so much for showing me around. Can I try some now? Sure. <laughs> so, so Alex is going to be talking me through the sakes that we're about to taste. So we're in a quite a remote area. Yes. How did you come to be in this area? So I worked in Kakunodate for four years and I just absolutely fell in love with this area. It reminded me so much of where I grew up um, in Portland, Oregon. It's so much green and I just absolutely fell in love with this area. And I'm guessing you love sake. I do love sake, <laughs> so sh shall we? Mm. 
super sweet, really fresh and lively and it's almost honeyed and licorice. There's like an aniseed sort yes. of flavor to it. Yeah, sake, especially really high quality sake has this smell that is familiar and I can't place it. Okay, so I don't want to say this, but it reminds me of, um, did you have impulse deodorant? Like, you know, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? So if I got it right that, uh, the, each individual grain of rice is polished to a different extent. So as it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. it becomes higher quality and it gets different flavors come out at different stages. Yes, this guy here is polished down to 35%. Oh, that's tiny. Yes, and it becomes so delicate at that point that you have to wash the rice by hand. You can't do it by machine. Thank you so much. Of course. For the my tasting. Pleasure. We're going to work our way through all these bottles now. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>after yesterday's sake brewery i am now deep in the mountains of the yamagata prefecture here a form of aesthetic buddhism is practiced by ancient monks i'm dressed up to enter the forest and i'm now being taught how to pay my respects to this thousand year old tree behind me the Yamabushi seek enlightenment by convening with nature and practicing this incredible form of endurance training. They walk on hot coals, bathe in ice cold rivers and undergo sleep deprivation. Fortunately for me, they take in city slickers so ready after yesterday's sake brewery to repent and be in nature. Can you tell me a bit more about the Yamabushi? Uh, I hear Shugendo is a philosophy that you follow. Shugendo is a Japanese 日本だけの宗教と言いますか西山の地ねそれでその山山が全て聖人白装束というのは本来その我々がそのま聖場になる綺麗まあ動くこともきれいになるようなその神様に対しての現れそれと同時にここの山はあの生まれ変わりの山という
そういったことで新しい自分に生まれ変わることができると思います<笑>ありがとうございます。